Good morning. No. Good night. Yes, it's bloody four o'clock and I was up at two o'clock and my orchids don't like early light and screw it, I need to do stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to do stuff. Um, let me get some orchids out of the way first. Hold up. That's one good thing. Um, that's the first of the Phalaenopsis types that springs to life. So that should be a decent growth, which makes roots, which we need. Okay. Um, Yes, uh, before I begin, um, thank you the new subscribers, yes, it's about time I did that, welcome, uh, and another thing, um, I changed my channel name, uh, <laughs> most people can't pronounce my name, so this will be a little bit easier, and it kind of explains why my videos are fuzzy sometimes, yes, it's, yeah, I can't help it, um, uh, yes, uh, and I never work with a plan, um, this is a, uh, no idea obsidian, it's a small yellow one, and you can see here there's a, a nice new growth. Here's one starting, and it's rooting, and to accommodate further root growth, which in this case goes in the right direction, these don't, yes they don't. And that's on me because I could have prevented that. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is um, fit another piece of board like this. Yeah, yeah. And smack on some fresh moss. And then we have a bigger mount. Um, for that, I'm gonna need a stake, a drill, not a power drill, I'm not allowed to use that, for comedic purposes, <laughs> uh, yeah it's 4 o'clock guys, I'm... there's a carnival in my head and I wasn't invited, uh, they always do that, as soon as I most people need an hour or so to wake up when they open their eyes. Uh, I don't. I'm at 10 right away. I don't need coffee to wake up. I drink coffee to get the system started so I can go to the bathroom. That's just about it. As soon as my brain wakes up, it starts to uh, do stuff, and yeah, I had a pen. I had a pen, yes, a beautiful Sharpie. Where is it? Uh, hold up. Sharpie. Um... Well, these pieces don't line up perfectly. Do I have more? This is my drill bit. Uh, no. Disable. There we um, Maybe a bit closer up. There we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty then. 
Um, <coughs> yes, uh, this is no good. No bueno. No bueno. Well, it doesn't really matter. This is better. Okay. And I mark where I want to drill. And same goes for this one. That's one. And that's two. Now I'm going to wake up the neighbors. Now. Uh, well, could be, but screw it. I suffer, everyone suffers. <coughs> yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. Now this one. Easy. I hope. No. Well. This is not really a big, pretty hole, but the hole doesn't need to be pretty. Um, next up, I have hot glue. Yes, hold up. Yeah, I really need to close my laptop when I'm not in the room because Pip likes to sleep on the laptop and he's also sending secret messages when he does. Um, now let's hope this fits. It does not, okay. One does. Yeah, that's long enough. Um, I warm the glue so it floats a little, flows a little better. That's it. Stick it in. Same with the other one. Now this is uh, wood glue, so it's not harmful to the plant. You can even, um, when, say for instance, you split a cat layer, you take a part of the rhizome, this is a perfect way to close off the wound. It's after all wood. Now let's see if... No, I was not correct, it does not fit. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, this one. Why do I always have to do it? the hard way. Geen nog God op mijn rugje rodding. I have to drill a hole in between two holes. That's not going to work. Oh, will it? 
Yes, it will. I'm just going to use brute force. I shall have my hole. That should be a little deeper. Does it fit? Yes, it fits. A little bit of glue. There we go. And there we have a one mount. I already did this one with tie wraps. Also a good way. So long as you can't see them when you're done. Because that's really annoying. All my wires and fishing line need to be hidden. Uh, for those not in the know, this is Wild Swaggin. And I collect that myself. And it is full of goodies from nature. And some oak leaves and some pine needles. It doesn't matter if the plant loves it. Now, I'm covering the root tips a little bit. Here are the root tips. So they get a taste of what's to come. Now I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of fishing line and then we're done for today. Yes! Because it felt like a Monday. And it's already Thursday, is it? Uh, I don't know. A little slip knot. Or a big slip knot. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, uh, I'm so glad that everything is happy here and don't have to do anything else. I just wind it around. And there we go, does we have enough to tie it off? Yes we do, yes we do. Oh. Now I'm also going to use the glue for this one. Oh. And it only holds the moss, so a little bit of a dodgy knot isn't that bad. I haven't had mm, orchids falling off the mounts, so I think I think I'm doing the right thing. Do no yeah.
It was a two or three. Hmm. Well, I don't care. Hold up. A little dot of glue to secure it. And then we have a elongated mount. Well, this could have used a little bit of wire, but well, screw it. There we go. Disable? No. There we go. And an elongated mount. Nobody will ever know it's three pieces. Um, Now I'm getting to problem number. Oh no, it's not a problem. <coughs> now, <coughs> oh, I need to do the same with this one, but this one has the annoying habit that it wants to go sideways, so. I have to think about this one. Okay, this is um, how much? 60 minutes. Yeah, that's long enough. Um, okay, later. Little bit on the end. Um, here you can see the, <laughs> the opposite. Um, this one, well, your orchids never do what you want them to do. Um, I had a few roots here and, well, yeah, moss, but nay, madam wants to grow sideways and up. Yeah, well, I would like to say, you'll go just right ahead. I have no idea how to accommodate that, so I'm not going to. Okay, bit on the end. Later.